X Defiance is back! But has anything changed? What's up guys, this is Mert Music, and welcome back to X Defiance. They're currently doing a limited time playtest to stress test the servers and stuff like that, and also get some more feedback. I'm pretty sure it's only running from like now until the 21st, so it's a very short amount of time to play the game, and I want to show you guys what has changed and what's different with X Defiance. Right off the bat, I noticed a massive change in the settings, and I don't think we had this before, but if you go to the matchmaking section of your settings, you can now toggle input-based matchmaking. I don't think we had this before, but this is why it's such a a major change obviously we all know how crossplay works if you turn crossplay on you can play with any other platform that's available and if you turn it off then you can only play with the platform that you're playing on but input based matchmaking takes this a step further in order to actually turn on input based matchmaking you have to have crossplay enabled in the first place and on top of that as well it says that this does not apply to ranked matchmaking and mixed input party matchmaking so in short if you're playing ranked or if you're playing with your buddies and they're playing on other platforms with different inputs and stuff then it's just not going to apply at all because it's already matchmaking with a large variety of players and it's already a mixed bag of keyboard and mouse and controller players now as you can see here i'm currently playing with crossplay on but i have input based matchmaking off and now why am i doing that i'm currently playing on pc and if i leave input based matchmaking on then there's a higher likelihood that i'm going to be matched against other people playing keyboard and mouse on pc there's nothing wrong with that but i would like to increase the likelihood of going up against console players and stuff like that so i feel like having this off makes more sense in this situation especially because i'm queuing up solo right now if i was playing with matt or karina they play you know with controller so this setting wouldn't really matter to me at all. But the main reason this is such a massive change and honestly I think improvement is because if you're someone who wants to play on console and not have to worry about playing against people on PC, you can still play with crossplay on, but you can turn input-based matchmaking on so that way you can only play against controller players. Essentially meaning that you can have console-only crossplay and you can completely remove PC players from your matchmaking experience. This is huge for console players who don't want to have to be ultra sweaty and go up against the PC dorks like me. I have a massive PC nerd elitist. I'm kidding, by the way. I don't really play that much keyboard and mouse, but I make the exception for this game because I really do like how the game feels on keyboard and mouse. But yeah, man, this is a massive change for X Defiant. I don't know if we had the input-based matchmaking in the last test, but regardless, I still wanted to cover this because this is a huge part of the game, and the second you get on X Defiant, whether it's the full game or if it's this little stress test for the servers, you are going to want to make sure that you have these settings tweaked to whatever your preference is for matchmaking. But beyond that, most of the other settings in the X Defiant are pretty much the same. There are some other things that I want to go over, though. If you go over to your loadouts you will notice some changes in the creative class which is pretty interesting now you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i swear they updated the visuals for some of the attachments in the game like these look a lot more stand out than they did before same thing with the rear grip tapes as well like i don't know i feel like these are more defined than they were before at least for some attachments i don't know i could be tripping maybe it's just been a while i mean it's been i think over six months since we last played x defined so i don't know maybe i'm just kind of going crazy here i also noticed in the profile section that we have career stats now i haven't played a match yet on this server stress test and everyone was reset everyone's level one but i do believe we have access to everything for changing our loadouts like all the attachments all the guns and in case you were wondering as well nothing from this server stress test is going to carry over into the full game so don't worry about trying to unlock camos or like rank up or whatever but you will notice if you click the welcome button here that it says if you play the game you can earn xp boosters and exclusive weapon skins for the full game so just keep that in mind i'm not sure if these are the same boosters and the same skins that we got before when we were playing like the beta test and stuff like that but we'll find out soon now if you click play here and you go to the practice zone there are some things that changed in the practice zone okay so even with the factions and stuff i feel like this menu screen is updated as well right now it looks like we could choose between the individual characters within the factions and we could just change their abilities as we go we got our abilities we have our class and as we go into the practice zone the assault course and the firing range they're essentially the same however the abilities and ultras test is completely blocked off for some reason i like the little caution tape of the rabbit that they have over here like it, it's pretty cool i don't know why it's blocked off though hopefully we can get some kind of explanation my best guess is that they're probably rearranging some stuff and trying to make this section either more interesting or just allow us to do more stuff because this area was pretty bare bones at least compared to the firing range which has a lot of different sections and stuff but yeah man just being back at the firing range like the game feels so smooth i'm hoping that the online experience is gonna be pretty good as well this is a server stress test so we're gonna have to see how the online matchmaking goes today which is exactly what we're gonna test right now so yeah let's go ahead and click play we just go to unranked and this is different as well it looks like you could create a custom playlist so you can queue up for whichever kinds of modes you want to it's basically a quick play in call of duty i do believe if you use a custom playlist though this will make it more difficult to get into the same lobby with the same group of people because you're queuing for a bunch of different modes but this is definitely a pretty neat addition to the game like if i want to queue for dom occupy and escort i can queue for all three of them at the same time and we could go ahead and play i think for the time being though i'm just going to queue for escort it was my favorite mode before and it, it probably will always be my favorite 
favorite mode in the game. I did make a couple of loadouts, but I don't have anything too crazy made yet. Probably gonna have to put the ACR on just because, you know, if a lobby gets super sweaty, we're gonna have to bust it out. Oh, it's already creating a match, dude. The matchmaking is so fast. Okay, well, this game's already going on. They are moving this way too fast. What are we doing? What? Oh, I got quickscope in the back. Okay, I kind of want to snipe. This to me is a really good indicator of whether or not the connection is good or not. One of my biggest issues, I think, was the desyncing that a lot of people described in the game, where you would pull the trigger and you would see the animation happen and you would know that your bullet was fired, but it wouldn't actually go off and kill anyone. Just a weird little thing. I'm hoping that it's better now. Oh, yeah. Oh, the game is feeling good already. Look at that. Jesus, let's go glop and boopin'. So there's a couple of things that they really wanted to test heavily with this server stress test for X Defiance. Obviously, it's the servers. They want to see if their servers can handle a massive load of players. But they've also made improvements to the netcode. And so far, the game really does feel a lot smoother. I know it's my first game on, but the hit registration for the TAC-50 so far feels way better than before. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my quick scope? Did I miss that? I missed the- Ah, oh, no! I was gonna say, I missed the little emoji reactions when you kill people in the kill feed. I love that as an addition to the game. It's obviously not anything super new. They've had that basically since day one, but still just love it, man. Noise. Uh, see? Okay. Now that's what I'm talking about. You guys heard the shot go off, and it even gave me like a little hit marker, I'm pretty sure. It's not that the shot wouldn't have killed the guy, I just don't know if it actually went off. Alright, let's switch sides, let's get it. Gonna go with this P90 class that I made. Yo, our whole team is pretty much playing these guys. The Phantoms. But regardless of all the changes and the server stress test for X Defiance, it kind of all brings us back to the main question, which is, when is X Defiance going to be fully released? I would hope that after this stress test for the servers, if everything goes well, that the game would hopefully be releasing sometime this year. I really was meaning to cover this stuff sooner, but I just got caught up with doing other videos and stuff. I was going to kind of give you guys a little update on X Defiant because I saw some stuff from Mark Rubin on Twitter. And even though he said this stuff before, he wanted to make things even more clear about what was going on with the game. And he was saying the main reason the game did not launch when they expected it to in that launch window that they were kind of, you know, sharing with us and what was predicted. The main reason the game didn't come out is because there were serious issues with the party system, basically meaning that if you would have tried to party up with your friends, it most likely would not have worked, which means that potentially for months, you would not have been able to party up and play with anyone. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for most multiplayer FPS games, you're going to want to party up with people. Obviously, this doesn't apply if you're a solo only player and you don't plan to ever play with anyone, but most people want to be able to party up and play with people. And if you can't do that at all in the game, yeah, I think Mark Rubin might have even said that the game would have just been dead on arrival. And that's very true. Having a working party system in FPS games and, you know, most other video games, it's just kind of an expected thing. And if the party systems don't work, people are going to roast the hell out of the game, especially because they know that their competition, their main competition is Call of Duty. And Call of Duty has gotten it wrong in the past before too. I mean, dude, prime example was Black Ops 3 back in the day. The party system did work, but what they severely messed up at one point in time was the ability to change your party privacy settings. For me, this was a massive issue because I constantly had people joining my session because I couldn't put it on friends only or close. It was always defaulting and forcing it to open. It was annoying and frustrating and terrible when that was happening back then. And thankfully it did eventually get fixed, but that's the whole thing. Call of Duty can kind of get away with having more of these problems and issues because there's an established player base and a pretty massive established player base at that. And I'm sure to an extent as well, they know that the COD fan base is going to deal with the crap that gets thrown at them no matter what. X Defiance does not get that luxury. They don't have that. This is a brand new FPS game and they have to hold themselves to a higher standard and make sure that the game is as perfect as it possibly can be when it fully releases. Oh my God, this is great. <laughs> Move the damn thing. The shield is beautiful, come on. No, no, no. Still on it. I gotta stay on it. They have a shield now. Oh, God. This is really bad. Ah! Oh, I couldn't shoot! There's a weird delay when the shield went down, but yeah, we tried. We tried. We had people rage quitting, so that was just like a really difficult offense, but yeah. God, it feels so good to be back on the game, though, dude. But like I was saying, it's gonna be expected that X Defiant has a working party system when the game fully releases. So hopefully for the server stress test for X Defiant, everyone's able to party up with whoever they want to. And I'm really hoping there's no issues on that front, because if everything goes well with this test, then that should translate to the game being released sooner rather than later. Or never. There are a lot of people who are concerned that X Defiance is just never going to release, and I really, really do hope that is not the case. I want this game to come out. Yo, it straight up says crossplay on, input-based matchmaking off, searching for six more players. So the game just straight up tells you what your matchmaking settings are as you're matchmaking. That's genius. We're going to start calling Mark Rubin Wark Wubin because, my God, massive W's for X Defiant right now. Let's see if I still have time to make my ACR as a just in case. I mean, I don't know if this thing's still going to be as good as it was before. I'm sure it will be, though. Okay, that's creating the match. I think we took too long. Wait, X Defiant services are not available 
level this time please try again later delta one error okay so to be honest this is the second time i've gotten this error i'm not sure why it's happening to be honest i would not be surprised if the game does have some matchmaking issues there's gonna be a lot of players getting on today and regardless of the concerns of people being able to party up or not i think these new crossplay and input based matchmaking settings that they have in the game could also be something that they're trying to work through and test at the moment i really am just hoping that all of this stuff goes smoothly and that the game will be able to be released wait is this different too we have daily challenges but then there's also base challenges and major challenges oh my god i wonder if they got inspiration from like the major orders on hell divers too because that's what this kind of looks like right now it looks like they made them tinier though like the pre-game lobby screen does look a little bit different than before but honestly it's not too bad yo i think they use different cinematics when you're loading into the maps now like this looks a little bit different there's so many more angles and stuff it's actually really cool <laughs> uh oh Ah. Ooh. No, not the marker. Oh. Okay, they have five people. They're missing someone. No wonder we're getting this so fast. All right, we got it. Nice. But yeah, man, so far the connection and the net code and all that stuff, it's feeling way smoother than before. I think this is actually different on the map right here. Like, you could kind of watch into spawn before, but I think that might have made a little change to the map right there. Again, it gets kind of tricky to point out the differences between what the game was like before and where it is now because there's been such a long gap of when we could last play the game. But after this match, there is something that I do want to try out that I haven't done before. Ooh. Nope. What? I didn't... Oh, we got it. Okay, sweet. Wait, <laughs> they're all stuck running. What's that? I don't know if that was the case before. I could have sworn like the players would just be standing around, but I guess not. Get rich, bro. Wait, I had a 3.3 KD? Jesus. Yeah, there's definitely no skill-based matchmaking in the game, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, we went 20 to 6 sniping, dude. That, that was a good game. But there is something that I have not done on X Defiance that I want to try now because it is a new feature. I want to try the create a custom playlist thing and just check everything. And I'm really curious to see what game mode we get and how good or bad the match could be. While also trying to make an ACR class for the last time that was fast we got into a game so fast and i've been trying to speed run making this acr class but there's been no time that's too funny dude the matchmaking is so quick in the game i kind of forgot what was good on the acr i'm just putting stuff on i really don't know okay we got emporium domination nice i'm going with like a stealthy p90 build right now hit level four noise that guy's fast dude that guy's moving we need to get b we're gonna get b we're gonna get b we got it nice beautiful Ah, the P90. I don't know if I have it built badly or something. They're about to take our... They're about to take C. They're about to have everything. What is wrong with this team? All right, time to bust out the ACR. It might help. I mean, our team is just getting destroyed, though. What in the... Oh, my God. <laughs> this really is Call of Duty right now. The body's launching the flashbang. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, they're just going to spawn trap and our team is actually camping at sea. So like we can't do anything. They don't want to move out of spawn. It's brutal, man. This is a brutal match. But even though this is a more difficult lobby, it just goes to show that the game doesn't have skill based matchmaking. And the reason I say that is because of how kind of unbalanced the match is. It's not like it's impossible to win, but it's just unlikely because the game is just putting us in a game with good connection. I got a 22 ping right now. The connection is good. And it's not like it's a terribly unbalanced game, but I can just tell that our team has no chance because the teammates, they're not going for the flags. And maybe this is a consequence of people just kind of queuing up for everything and not playing a game mode that they actually fully understand and wants to play. It does feel like if you go with the quick play route and you just queue for every single game mode, your matchmaking times will be super fast and you're going to get a match with good connection. But at the same time, you have no idea what the match is actually going to be like. I'm going to go with my movement speed vector class. I don't know. Close loss. I, that didn't feel like a close game, but I guess it was. Is this guy's face supposed to look like that? But yeah, of course I had the most amount of caps. What is that face? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, the characters are looking kind of glitchy right now, dude. It's funny. Also, my character is not holding a gun. I, they still got a little a couple things to work out, clearly. But yeah, that last match definitely did not go as well. I'm pretty sure I went from a 3KD sniping and escort to like a half KD trying to use an SMG and ACR and stuff like that on domination. Yeah, I went 12 to 20, but I did play the objective pretty hard. Yeah, they basically had like five decent players and our team had like maybe two or three. It does make a huge difference, but that's the whole point of not having skill-based matchmaking. Focusing on the matchmaking times themselves and ping is huge to making sure that we can play more games and actually have a good time. But yeah, man, those were some of my first couple of matches getting back on X Defiance and playing this new server stress test. So far, the game is feeling and playing way better than it was before. And I'm glad that they're taking extra time to make sure that the game is stable and hopefully going to be ready for a launch soon. The game is free to play on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So, I mean, if you have some time this weekend, I would definitely recommend checking it out. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see some more X Defiance stuff. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Trangle.